Greetings and welcome to V1 Love presenting Unispherical Muse. So in the last video I showed that I finished making my table for my table. So basically if you go, uh, you're in a lecture and a uh, college class, they have a podium. And which is an altar. You go to a religious building and the preacher, priest, whatever has an altar that they're speaking from. Well, it's the same when you do esoteric Wiccan. You then have a podium, an altar. And on it will then be certain items that you need to do a blessing. All right. I am a reverend. So first things first, we got our um, uh, feathers. And I'm a landscaper, so I find them like everywhere. And those are like so pretty. Look at that. And then you got the eagle or uh, I don't know, hawk feather and then you got these other multicolored feathers birds are absolutely getting fascinating the older I get and then here you got UFO detector and then I got my fan these are the things in my travels over the years and that's a Tibetan singing bowl and then you have two uh, lions and these are called guardians so you put them in front of your house for to protect your house from thieves and it's good luck and brings prosperity and then I have my incense box and I like this incense holder this is like made out of I don't know some kind of stone uh, for the incense holder okay and then I have my um, what do you call it for candle and then uh, you can put lavender in there. When you put lavender, it gives off a really good scent so that it's helping to relax. And this is uh, a lavender. Okay. And then you have another one for, um, I have dragon's blood on here. I've had it for years. I just never used it. And you put a candle in there and it will then um, give nice aroma to the room as you're doing a cleansing and here you can put a candle in here and then it will light up how pretty is that right and then i have a smaller one here and i get these at little uh, antique shops and whatnot this one is my uh three-legged frog it's blown glass got this many years ago when my kids were little i think it's like a little gorgeous thing three-legged frogs are basically for good luck and then I have my crystals, so it's like for the crystals will then do the cleansing in the chakras, which will then change the orc colors within your body of being. My daughter-in-law got me this little deal, and this is from uh, Mexico. And then this is when you're like learning uh, telepathy to move items. Then I have my three-legged frog. Isn't he cute? And then I have Henry, and he's a, a fake bird. Got that at the uh, water animal park in Michigan when I went to visit my daughter. But he's the cutest thing. And then this is another one. You put the incense on top, and then uh, the smoke goes down instead of up. So then never ever have an empty vase or vase. Always put something in it because the chi will then get stagnant and you want it flowing so you just put a little bit of white rice in the bottom or something then here we have uh the two decks i still have another one in the other room and this is the witch's corner which is kitchen oracle and it basically gives you recipes on i don't know parsley and all kinds of good stuff and what the meaning is on that and how to do a sacred blessing for those okay and then here you have your sage or any other type of um burnings that you want to do because you need your affirmations for doing a cleansing you want to cleanse your house and you want to cleanse your automobile and all that good stuff so that um, it will relieve the negative energies within your surroundings. So pretty much my altar, a.k.a. Uh, platform here is just for the trinkets that I collect over the years. And every once in a while I remember, oh yeah, I want to try that. So I've been wanting to do like... The Tibetan singing bowl for, gosh, 15 years or so. Just 
finally got it like a month ago. So it's like one of those things that it's like I'm getting to it. I'm getting set up as I recently have told everyone I'm learning how to off grid before I off grid or homestead before I homestead because lucky me I get to retire in lovely a year. So yeah, the whole reason why I went to the dentist is because a few days ago I snack on uh dried fruits and nuts. I buy big bags that are bulk. So I will look at my food before I eat it and obviously I miss that little piece of the walnut shell and I bit into it so then it cracked my tooth and then yesterday it fell out when I was eating soup. I'm not like really eating having anything heavy duty but it just like fell out. So um Went today, and then I had to do a, a temporary, and I get to go next week. And then they're going to do a root canal and uh, put in a crown. So, yay, lucky me. When you don't have any teeth on one side of your mouth, and the one that you cracked is on the side that you do have teeth, oh, boy, we're going to be puree food for a whole week, which is cool because I make my morning juice, and you can find that on um, my YouTube channel. And my oatmeal loaded, everything I make, I can then just pop it in the blender. Whew, the Vitamix, my friend told me to get. And it's like really awesome. So I just blend it all up and drink that. And hey, you're getting the same amount of everything. Protein, minerals, vitamins. You're just not busy chewing. Because all the chewing after a while gives you a headache. Bada bing, bada boom. <laughs> life is love. Love is life. Blessing from Reverend Lewis. And thank you for your support.